what is going on everybody, Eric the Electric coming back to you guys again, my Electric Empire with another video. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm super excited for this video because guess what we're doing today folks, we are taking on something amazing, the McGriddle. You guys know me, I love McDonald's. McDonald's has a special place in my heart. I'm always loving it. You guys can get pretty much everything in McDonald's. You guys can get Big Macs, you guys can get chicken nuggets, you guys can get McFlurries, you guys can get amazing apple pies, but today we're getting something that's close to my heart, something that's very, very special. We're getting a lot of McGriddles. If you guys out there don't know what McGriddles are, they are everything amazing about breakfast. McDonald's basically gets two pancakes, and they use those pancakes as buns to wrap up bacon, eggs, and cheesy deliciousness. And in this video, everybody, I'm not gonna be just getting one McGriddle, I'm going to be getting 30 McGriddles. And I'll be making the McGriddle Mountain. So that's just an electric empire. It's time to get in this challenge, and it's time to get in the crazy. Let's do this. And we're here at McDonald's. It's time to get us some McGriddles. Alrighty guys, so everybody voted on Instagram to go in and order this, so we're gonna order right now. We'll be taking this one out. <laughs> so many options, I love McDonald's. Okay. All man breakfast. 30 McGriddles. Triple breakfast stacks McGriddles? What is that, dude? How about this? Let's do... <laughs> oh, this is gonna cost so much, babe. Oh. 150 bucks? Oh, babe, this is gonna suck. This is really gonna suck. I can do it for you guys. I had to order. Do an even hundred. All right. Ooh. So an even one hundred dollars. I gotta get nine oh. more. Now nine of the sausage. I get cheese. I guess it kind of makes me feel better when I see like a lower total here. <laughs> Should I get some hash browns too? Let's also get some hash browns. We need some hash browns too. I don't know. I think it's a little bit much. Okay, whatever. Two hash browns. We don't want to get too crazy, so we're gonna get two, two hash browns. Total. Oh my gosh, no, I don't want to make it a meal. <laughs> I'm like scared. I'm like scared to hit proceed to check out. I'm gonna pay here so they don't judge me. Alright, everybody, I forgot something really important. Forgot to get Daikon. Forgot. I'm gonna actually add two Daikon onto that. Two Daikon's okay. And uh, now we eat. Be it. Sorry, the oh, no big problem. order. Here you go, 315. Thank you very much. Let's get some health and fitness. Health and fitness. There is something about McDonald's Diet Coke that just tastes amazing. You're getting the big bag. Here you go. Thank you very much. No problem. Yeah. Alright everybody, we have our McDonald's. We have our delicious McGriddles. Now, it's time to get this home and get this all presentable. Alrighty, Electric Empire. Oh my goodness gracious. I'm so excited to get into this challenge, people. This is going to be one of my most insane McDonald's challenges, and I couldn't be any more excited for it. But before we get into the video, everybody, I, like always, I just want to say I hope you guys are having an amazing day out there when you guys are watching this video. For today's challenge, guys, we got 30 McGriddles. That's right, 30. 3, 0. Treta. Sushi. Trot. Tracy. Hey, Siri, how do you say 30 in Russian? In Russian, 30 is 30. That's right, everybody. Over $150 worth of McGriddles, guys. As somebody that loves McGriddles, everybody, I'm just, I'm so excited for this one. But before we get into this challenge, though, folks, I need to know down below from you guys, okay? I need to know, people. You know, we have tons of McGriddles here. We can make another mountain challenge with tons of donuts, with tons of tacos, burgers. So I want you guys to comment down below. What do you guys want to see in the next massive fast food challenge? I genuinely want to know from you guys. So let me know down in the comments below, everybody. Now, enough babbling, folks. Let's get all this unwrapped and get it all. Presentable. Oh my gosh. There's so many McGriddles. So many McGriddles. More McGriddles. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is insane, people. This is absolutely insane. These are like actually pretty hot, considering they were actually probably because they just made them. We have our two McDonald's hash browns in case we need it. Which we will definitely need it. No. No. Man down. No. Oh my gosh, are you serious? Oh, I got bacon all over my floor. <sighs> Things I gotta go through. This is absolutely insane. Can we just take a moment, everybody? Can we just take a moment to admire this beauty right here? This is a fortress. This is a wall. This is a mountain of McDonald's McGriddle sandwiches. <laughs> 
All right, guys, well, we have all our McGriddles right here. We have our Diet Cokes over here, which are definitely gonna come in handy for this challenge. Oh my goodness. And I just wanna take a moment, everybody, to let all of you know that each McGriddle is probably around 100 and 30, 140 to 150 grams, depending on which McGriddle we're talking about here. So all together, the total of this, this weight for this challenge comes to be a little bit less than 10 pounds, and that's a lot of food, people. My capacity lately has been dropping a little bit, but it's usually right around the 12 to 13 pound mark, so I'm pretty confident I can take all this down. But just in case I can't take it all down, I got some things to help me out, aka condiments, aka deliciousness. But the first thing I got wasn't actually a condiment. I had to get some health and fitness, all right? So we got some health and fitness right over there. We have some ketchup, we have some ranch, because it's me, and then everybody, we have cranch, because you cannot have a challenge without cranch. If you guys haven't tried it out yet, definitely give it a shot. And because we're going to be making a creation later, I got some sugar-free syrup, because why get all the extra calories from normal syrup when you can have sugar-free? And next, everybody, I gotta update Snapchat and Instagram and let them know what I'm doing right now. If you guys haven't yet, you guys gotta follow me. If you guys wanna get the sneak peeks first, and you just might be in a future video. Snapchat crew, like I said, guys, go follow me on Instagram and Snapchat, Eric the Electric. And just like that, everyone, we're gonna get this challenge started and get it underway. That means I gotta let you guys know the total nutrition of this challenge. Those are gonna be listed, like, right there for you guys. And because, everybody, I gotta do this. We're all about health and fitness here in the Electric Empire. That means total macros. So that also means protein, carbs, fat. Those are gonna be listed like right there for you guys. Without further ado, my friends, my family, members of the Electric Empire, this is the McGriddle Mountain Challenge. Let's make some very, very, very bad decisions. All right, everybody, we're ready to get this challenge started and get it underway. Let's unwrap a few of these before we get into this challenge so I don't have to waste time unwrapping McGriddles. Look at that, people. Look at that deliciousness. Oh my goodness. And we have the bacon, egg, and cheese McGriddle and the sausage McGriddle. All right, everybody. So we have five egg and sausage McGriddles and we have five bacon, egg, and cheese McGriddles. Goodness gracious. Oh. And you guys know. Just like with every video, you guys gotta get, whoa! Why does this happen every week? I swear. Anyways, as I was saying, you guys gotta give the video a like. If you poop today. I did. I think we gotta start with the sausage, egg, and cheese McGriddle first. And silly me, I actually just realized this is a bacon, egg, and cheese McGriddle. I'm sorry, everybody, it's been a long day, all right? It's been a very, very long day. But it's time to get them crazy. Let's do this. You guys already know. That's fire. Whew. Let's get into this challenge, guys. All right, everybody, so far, the battle between sausage and bacon I'm just gonna say right now, bacon is winning. Normally I'm not a huge, huge, huge bacon guy, but everyone has a preference when it comes down to sausage versus bacon. You guys gotta comment right now, you team bacon or you team sausage? Let me know. We got a lot of McGriddles left ahead of us. Let's do this. All right guys, well, goodness gracious, we have two, four, five left. Pretty sure that means I just got through five. I love McGriddles. Amazing, so far, so good, everybody. McGriddles are basically like my favorite fast food. I will. Actually, I can't start to say that they're my new favorite because I always say I have a new favorite. You guys are gonna go, Eric, keep inventing new favorites. You guys, you can have multiple favorites. It's totally normal to have multiple favorites, okay? The McGriddle just happens to be a very versatile fast food item. You have sweet, you have savory. It is the way to go. Oh, and yes, I didn't forget about my half pounds. I still have them. Right over there. There we go. Bottoms up. My griddles were a little denser than I remembered them to be. At least they're delicious. Ooh, all right, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Honestly, guys, I have no idea what I was thinking. I have no idea what I was thinking. I do this every single challenge. So far, guys, I, I'm, I'm still going strong. I love my McGriddles, but I think it's time to really step things up a notch. We gotta get into a little creation mode right now. Let's do this. You know, Electric Empire, I'm always looking out for you guys. I'm always looking out for my, my friends and family, all you guys that, you know, support the channel, that want to, you know, become food connoisseurs. I would actually wouldn't call myself a food connoisseur, but you guys get the picture. If you guys have been following me for a while now, you guys will know what I'm about to do right now. We are about to make the ultimate innovation in fast food. It's called the Electrifier. 
Basically what you do is take a hash brown like so, and then you put it on the grill just like so, and then next, everybody, you get another McGriddle, well, the other half of the McGriddle, and you put it on top just like so. Then everybody, you pick up McGriddle, you inspect McGriddle, and then you lather on syrup generously, just like so. Let's do this, everybody. Let's do it. Oh, yes. oh perfect. Perfect. And the final step is enjoy. And here we go, everybody. Let's do this. Oh yeah. W O W moment. <laughs> All right, guys. It's about time to really start making some decisions here because this is um, proving to be a lot more than I was going to be. Goodness. I think we can, oh, 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 that's not good. We got a crunch on the table. Crunch on, just let it run, just like so. We're gonna try a savory griddle and see how it is. Cranch griddle right here, people. Cranch griddle, look at that, people. Cranch goodness, all of the nemo griddle. Let's do this. Oh yeah, double fire right there, people. Woo! All right, everybody, well, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 McGriddles left, 16 McGriddles down. Whew, goodness, people, that is a lot of McGriddles. That is definitely more than I thought it would be. I think it's time to move on to the next step here. It's time to rancherize our McGriddle and see how it tastes there. Everybody, what have I told you? You guys have to realize that whenever you rancherize something and you grace your food with ranch, it can revive you, can bring you life and really, really help with that flavor fatigue. And there you have it, people. A ranch McGriddle. Let's try this out. Oh, EWW moment. Everybody, I take back what I just said about ranch, at least for McGriddles. All right, guys, well, let's just say that I am a little McGriddled out right now, but it's totally fine. You know, it basically feels like a McGriddle overload challenge. Speaking of overload challenges though, you know what, you guys should let me know down below what you guys wanna see for the next overload challenge. I'm debating right now on Pop-Tarts versus like doing like a pizza overload challenge. I know I said I wanted to do that in the past, but yeah, let me know what you guys wanna see. Oh, nice. Just found a hair. Yummy. Whew, goodness, man. I thought this wouldn't really be that difficult, but I was certainly wrong. I was certainly wrong. We're gonna have to really start pulling out some tricks here, people. I probably should get the peanut butter out, but I'm way too lazy to get up and get it right now. But oh well. There we go. It wasn't me. Oh my gosh. My griddles, man. I'm getting the mixed watch right now. Whew. All right, everybody. Well, we have. Nine left, that means I have, man, I can't do math right now. I have 21 down. 21 McGriddles down, everybody. Right now, um, yeah, I'm getting a lot of flavor fatigue, and that's honestly what's kind of making my mind not feel very good right now, but I gotta do some very extreme things, guys, sometimes. You have strategies, Electric Empire, to get your food down. When you're, you know, in that battle of man versus food, you gotta just, you gotta go with it. So here we go. Actually, I'll probably just put a little fact up there so you guys know when I do this and I don't have to keep explaining it every single time I do it. It's not even that full right now. It's just, I like, I'm so repulsed right now by the McGriddles. Sorry, McDonald's. I just, I love your food. Well, most of it, but this is just, it's, it's nauseating, guys. Not to gross you out or anything, even though what I do is already pretty gross. Bombs away. Huevos, huevos, huevos. Electric Empire, I love you guys very much. I need to actually let you guys know that, well, hopefully you can let me know if you're still with the flow of the video. If you're still here, if you're still rolling with me, guys, what I need you guys to comment down below is huevos because all I can really taste in my mouth right now is huevos. We are at 27, well, now technically I'm at 24 more griddles down right now. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. <laughs> Sorry guys, this is really... Yeah, can't hide it from you guys. I can't, I gotta let you guys know how I feel, you know, with these challenges. Love you guys, go Eric, stop complaining, stop complaining, and guys, I'm sorry, but 
It's a little rough sometimes, but I do it for you guys. And I do it because I, I really, really, really like food, which is why I'm super excited for my New York trip that's coming up very soon on my tour. I'm going out on the East Coast and I'll be saying hi to a lot of you guys. I'm still taking suggestions for food challenges I can do out there for my food conquest. So if you guys have any, be sure to let me know down in the comments below. Let's get this, guys. I'm gonna be honest right now, I think if I eat another McGriddle, full McGriddle, you guys aren't gonna like what you see on this table. In a few minutes, it's gonna be kinda gross. Yeah, let's just, we'll leave it at that. Oh, and just like that, everybody, that has been another challenge. I'm sorry guys, like I said, there's just, there's no way I'm gonna get the rest of those McGriddles down, but at least I gave it a fair shot. I ate the most McGriddles I've ever ate before in one sitting. I guess I can tell my grandchildren that I ate 27 McGriddles. How cool am I, right? If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know down in the comments below. And also, suggest what you guys want to see for the next epic food challenge. Subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already. Hit that notification bell, people, right next to that subscribe button so you guys get notified whenever a future upload happens. Don't forget to follow me on my social media, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram. You guys know the drill. Thanks again for watching the video, everybody. Roll it. <laughs>